what's going on guys welcome back to another urban legend rc video on this video we're going to take a look at this the holy stone hs 120d it's a brush quadcopter with a tiltable 2k camera Hit this record button, and we're about to go and do a, let's see how steady it is first before we go anywhere. And we're about to do a distance test. So let's go ahead and take this thing on up. Ah, uh, guys. I don't know if I need to turn my rates up or what. All right, we moving now. That wind is throwing us around. I mean, throwing us around. So I don't know about this distance test and this wind. I don't know about that, guys. I'm going to push it to the limit anyway. I'm going to head out this way. Right now we're at 140 meters. Let's look down a little bit. 175. Let me raise it up a little bit. 180, 88. Uh, we've lost FPV feed. We, I think we just got it back. Two hundred meters. Yeah, we're just going. Push on a little further. We're gonna call that good. 200, cause I can't see the drone right now. So we're gonna hit one key return to home. And uh, the drone is Gaining altitude. It's just disconnected and reconnected to the remote. Steady gaining altitude. I don't, oh, I do see it. I do see it. It's going very high. Wow. Wow, that thing is flying to the daggone moon. It's flying back here too. Let's see how close this thing gets to the uh, landing pad. Let me get my other camera out. I heard it, but where did it go? Okay, it's right above me. Let me back up a little bit. Wow, I didn't know this thing would fly this high and it's actually flying quite well. Considering it was, it's pretty windy. It's pretty windy today, guys. Ooh, and it's very cold. My hands are numb. It's 
around 30, 33 degrees maybe. 32, 33 degrees. Woo. So we went uh, 200 and I think it was 246. I had to look back at the uh, recording. I put it up on the screen. But yeah, 246 meters. Of course, with the HS360, we went 499 meters right here at the same spot. This is where I like to do my distance test. The reason I do my distance test here is because, you know, I know it's uh, a lot of interference in the area. A lot of interference. So let's ratchet this camera down. Am I even connected to the to the drone? Okay, so here's the drone, and it's coming down. That ain't bad for a budget drone. I mean, that that's not bad for a toy grade quadcopter. All right. So now let's hit this. No, that's not. Let's return to home. Let's let's try to follow me. It's nearly impossible to sync this footage up because the drone is 25 frames per second and the screen record is 60 frames per second. It's saying I got weak GPS signal, but it's following me. Let's see, let's see if we can freak this thing out. Watch this. Did I freak it out? Did I freak it out? Let's try it one more time. Ready? Go. All right. That was pretty cool, that worked. Let's try. All right, let's turn that off. Let's try this. Oh. Uh-oh. Wrong way, right here. Let's move it over here in the sun. Come on, man. Oh God, come over here, come over here, dude. Oh, we're getting a low battery. So, we see, I mean, we see the little GPS tracking works. You know, basically, it's a good little quadcopter. You know, honestly, I think it's better for someone to have as a second or third drone, maybe. Um, I like it as a second or third drone just so I can get out and fly. It has lights on it where I can, you know, get out and take a little good little rip. 
in the backyard or in the street in front of the house, you know, so I like it. And the camera quality, as you can see, camera quality is great. <laughs> you know, it just, it has a little shaking. It's not perfect, it's not perfect, but this is a toy grade quadcopter. So it does great for what it is. But uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up because the battery, we do have a low battery, uh, low battery warning. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. We're gonna move on to the next location. So right now, I'm about to do a night or evening flight, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is very cold outside, so I have to do my compass calibration like I do on every flight before you take off with any type of GPS drone. As you can see, I'm about to do the GPS calibration right now. And of course, once you twist it around three times, you get solid lights. You twist it around three more times and you get solid lights all the way around. That way your compass is calibrated. So you have to make sure you calibrate your compass every time before you take off with these budget quad coppers. This drone is great for night and evening flights because you don't lose orientation because it has the blue lights in the back, the white lights in the front. So if you're traveling toward trees, you'll definitely know that you can back up or go forward depending on your orientation. Yeah, so I'm just flying it around, enjoying the evening flight. It's pretty stable in the air. You can't really see the controller when I held it up just then, but it's pretty stable in the air, guys. Um, for it to be a budget quadcopter, I mean, guys, it. I think, you know, for a second or third drone, something just to fly around, you know, and not, not fly your good drone, you know, just something just to fly around, or a beginner drone, this is perfect because you can fly it at nighttime. Uh, not saying the camera's gonna work perfect at nighttime, but you definitely can get, you know, you'll be able to get a little bit of fun flying around at nighttime is what I mean. you definitely be able to enjoy it. You get a smile on your face. You're seeing these blue lights, blue and white lights flying around in the air. So now you see the warning lights, I have to land it. So let's go ahead and get inside, do this quick unboxing. Let's get it. All right, now for a quick unboxing. The drone comes in this nice carrying case. It has a shoulder strap as well as a pocket on the front. As you can see, if you're going to travel with this drone, it's definitely protected. Let's move right along. You see you have an instruction manual, extra props, as well as landing gear. Inside the box, you get your charger, two batteries, the drone, as well as the controller.
This drone doesn't have a two axis or three axis gimbal, but it does have tilting capability. You already saw earlier in the video, that it has the bright lights on the arms, so you don't lose orientation while you're in the air, as well as it has brushed motors. All right, let's check out this controller. This thing seems to be well made. I'm telling you guys, only thing I noticed about it, it doesn't have any wires in the antennas. So that's that's the reason uh, the drone probably only flies maybe 300 meters. It says 400 in the app, but I'm just gonna say around 300 meters and it'll probably return to home. All right, let's compare these Holy Stone drone controllers. Let's compare the Holy Stone HS120D controller to the Holy Stone HS360 controller. As you can see, I'm gonna be honest guys, this Holy Stone HS120D controller looks a lot better to me, in my opinion, and it seems to be more uh, a higher quality. The reason I say it's a higher quality is the 360 controller requires batteries and the 120D has a own has its own internal battery so you can recharge it. All right, let's move on to charging. How do you know when your battery is fully charged? Well, let's find out. As you can see, the solid green light means fully charged. The blinking light means charging. So when you take the battery off the charger, the light turns red. When you reinstall it, it charges for a second and then it turns immediately back green. As far as your controller, it basically works on the same concept. While it's charging, it has a red light on. When it's fully charged, it will turn green like I said before this controller doesn't require any batteries all you have to do is use the supply cord to recharge it That's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. Until next time, you know what it is. Get out there and drive your RCs, fly your drones, and we'll see you on these two videos right here. Peace.